In this video, we're going to talk about how to write our output to a file. So far, we've written all of our output to the console on the screen, but often there are times when we want to write our output to a file. So to do this, we need to be able to, we have to pound include the header file f stream for our file stream objects. And now we need a variable for um, to output, and that type of file stream is called OF stream. And this is the variable type. We need to create a variable. We can call it whatever we want. I'm going to call it F out, handy for our file out. And then we need to open that file, file out.open, and associate it with a file. Now, with output, it doesn't have to, the file does not have to already exist. So if it doesn't exist, when it opens it, it will create it. If it does exist, it will open it and empty it, and then we can use it. So here's, I'm going to call it output, output.txt. And that's how I've, that way I've connected my file stream f out with this output, with this file called output.txt. And now when I want to write to it, I use that file stream object f out. And I print, I'm going to print my label first, the age is, and then I'm going to put that variable age and an end L. So normal things that I would normally print using C out, I'm going to use this file object F out. Now when I run it, there it comes up and tells me it's done, but there's no output. We don't see anything written here at the console. So to find what we have written, we need to go find the file. And if we look in, so I have to go find where I have my code. And here's my main.cpp. So here's my file that I'm working in, my cpp file. And there is where it created that output.txt file. And if I open it up, it says the age is 25. Now notice that this is all external to the project. So if I want to now add, if I want to instead add it to the project, I can go in here in File and um, add to a project. Oops, I mean the easiest way here is on the name of the project, right click and choose Add Files. And it opens up to that where main.cpp is and we just click output.txt and open and receive, accept the defaults. And now it shows up over here under others, there's output text and we can double click on it and it'll open up so now we can see it um, up here really easily when it changes. So now I can run the program again and I can write any other things. I can write the traditional hello world. And run it again see what happens. Now it's asking me, it says, oh, this file output.txt has been modified. So the program changed it and it's open here. It says, do you want to um, reload it? So do you want the new version? Yes, I want to reload the, and that will show me what's now been written in output.txt. And now it has the ages 25 and hello world. Now it's important to understand what's happening here. If I go up, so I can, each time I run the program, when it opens this file, it is emptying it and starting over. So now if I print something else, and I run the program, notice what's in there now. It's from what I wrote last time, the age is 25, hello world. Now when I run this program, it's going to empty that. I'm going to update it and go look at it. And then it will, it empties it. It writes goodbye, the age is 25, hello world. I see I want a space or a carriage return there, so I can add it. And there. Last thing that I want to do is close this file. Close. Close is a function call. It requires no arguments, but you just use your file stream object and close it. And that's how you write to a file.